Scientists at the University of Illinois Chicago say they are several steps closer to a new kind of battery that could make everything from cell phones to electric cars a lot cheaper to operate. It is the latest development in an ambitious research project based at Lamont's Argonne National Laboratory. Mike Flannery visited Argonne today. Joins us now with more, Mike. Well, Jeff and Dawn, the scientists at Argonne think they are on the verge of radically transforming the uh, the uh, way that we use and produce energy. Now, it may involve dumping all those lithium ion batteries we now have in computers, cell phones, and cars for better ones made with magnesium. It was two years ago last month that President Obama met with scientists at Argonne National Laboratory. He offered them $120 million and asked that they develop a new electric battery able to store five times more energy at one-fifth the cost and to do it within five years. Experts say that could cut your utility bill at home and radically reduce fuel prices for your vehicle. In the middle of the next decade, we expect that you'll fill up half as often, which means you spend half as much. And over the life of a new car, the average family will save more than $8,000 at the pump. Are you on track to, to make that come true? Yes, we have a whole set of timelines and milestones. Jeffrey Chamberlain runs the so-called J. Caesar Energy Storage Program. He showed me the science fiction-like tools his team is using at Argonne, including its advanced photon source, a sort of super X-ray machine 1.1 kilometers around. It has enabled researchers for the first time to see how batteries actually work at the subatomic level. And it turned out to be very different than the way they thought batteries worked. That's one reason they now believe magnesium batteries may be two or three times more powerful than current batteries made with lithium. We're trying to expedite the research to give a faster rate of return to the investor. And the investor in this case is the taxpayer. And it is not just batteries for cars, computers, and cell phones. At Argonne, they're reporting progress on truly gigantic energy storage systems large enough to hold power for a whole city as big as Chicago. That could be a big boost for solar and wind power because they're now somewhat unreliable. But backup batteries that could be charged when the sun shines and the wind is blowing could make the grid far more reliable and Jeff it could be a yeah. real game changer. That's the thing when you talk about uh, batteries for cities and now with cars too to go from Chicago to St. Louis and back on a single charge you mentioned game changer that would revolutionize the way we do things. It would. Yeah it All would right. and Mike. that's what's at stake. Wow. Okay thank you very much. Uh, Mayor Emanuel's motor